Hello everybody, Extrasify here. Welcome back to another gold making video and another weekly 50 runs episode. Now in today's episode, we are going to be farming Black Rock Depths. So let's get into how to run it. Alright guys, so when farming Black Rock Depths, there are a number of ways to run it, but this is my route as I like to use all of the Relic Coffer keys that we get from killing the dwarves as there is some great loot from those keys themselves. Now getting into some of the green sets that we want to be looking out for that are more expensive, we want to look for the Alabaster set, the Ebonhold set, the Imbued Plate, Imperial Red, and the Ornate set, just to name a few. Now a lot of the green transmog that you guys will get is not worth a ton of gold, but in my opinion, those are the sets that are usually each piece is worth 500 to 1,000 gold at least or so, so it's not too bad. Black Rock Depths actually has a lot of unique BOE blues, but the ones of note that are worth a lot would be the Spire of the Stone Shaper, Blister Bane Wrap, the Doomforged Straight Edge, the Judge's Gavel, and the Funeral Pyre Vestments, just to name a few. Now when opening these relic coffers at the end of our run here, we want to be looking for the gray item called the Dark Iron Baby Booties. Now these are actually a currency. When combined with two other gray items, you're able to get a pet from Oribos, and I'll highlight that spot a little later in this video, but you can actually buy a Bobble Worm pet that's worth like 20 to 30,000 gold with each pair of these boots. Now it has a low drop rate from these chests, but you can get a few in a 10 run session. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the loot from 50 runs of Black Rock Depths. Really quickly guys, if you enjoy my content and want to support the channel, just make sure that you are subscribed and check out some of my other gold making videos, as it really helps grow the channel and I really appreciate your guys' support. Alright, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and open my bags and show you guys everything I decided to keep. As always, I decide to keep about everything around a thousand gold in region value or higher. So let's quickly jump into that. So guys, here's everything that I decided to keep. Now it's quite a bit. Um, honestly, it was quite surprised with the run itself. So as you can see, the Dark Iron Baby Booties I'll talk about first. As you can see with my add-on, it talks about containing the Topaz Bobble Worm. Now after I go over the loot, I will talk about how you can get the Bobble Worm pet in Oribos. But as you can see, the pet is worth over 18,000 gold and has a region value of over 25,000 gold. So after doing quite a few of these runs, definitely sell some of these on your own. But definitely also get some of the Topaz Bobble Worms because the other two items you need in order to get the pet are pretty much dirt cheap. So you can just buy those on the auction house. This is the real expensive one, obviously, because people don't really know how to get them or they don't want to farm Black Rock Depths a bunch of times in order to get one. So in total, we got 13 Dark Iron Baby Booties. Um, quite, quite happy with that, definitely, to be honest. Um, so 14,000 gold on my realm for each of these. And they actually sell decently fast just because, again, no one really wants to farm them. So in my experience at least, I sell these pretty quickly. Maybe it takes like two weeks or so to sell one, which for, you know, I consider this a transmog piece, basically in terms of that sale rate. So it's pretty, pretty good comparatively. And then here are all the green transmogs that I kept. There's some nice sets like Gossamer as well. Um, these Imperial Red Pants have a value of like 4,000 on my realm, which is a little surprising. These alabaster plate pauldrons, you know, I'm not going to go into each of them, but yeah, definitely some solid items here. So not a ton of items that you're going to be keeping to fill out your auction house. If you're newer into transmog looking to just get tons and tons of items, this really wouldn't be the dungeon for that. You get some nice sets, but nothing crazy value. Definitely other dungeons will give you more items. So... With that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the BOE world drop items that we got. These are not specific to Black Rock Depths, but specific to Eastern Kingdoms. So we have a Blade of the Titans. This one looks really, really cool looking. Um, a few thousand gold region wide, about a thousand on my realm. We got these Worm Slayer Spaldron 
you know, I keep all of the BOE blue drops, but this one is quite cheap. Uh, 100 gold on my realm, 300 region wide. Nothing, nothing crazy here. We got a Julie's Dagger. Now, interesting note about this. I actually got it from the Relic Coffer at the end of the dungeon. I didn't know it could actually drop items. So that was really interesting. Um, unfortunately, it's not worth that much. It's like 250 gold on my auction house. 2,500 region wide though, so that's not bad. And lastly, the Aegis of Stormwind. This is about 1,000 gold region wide. Nothing crazy there. It looks pretty cool though. Now guys, I would say we got quite lucky in the BOE blues that are specific to Blackrock Depths. So firstly, we got a Judge's Gavel. This one is about 12 to 13,000 gold. It is a unique appearance. That's always nice. We got the Ruined Golem Shackles. This is crap, <laughs> honestly. 45 gold on my auction house, but 3 to 4k region wide, so maybe it's better on your guys' realm. Although it is wrist, so it's not going to sell super easily. I got a Brain Cage, 800 gold on my auction house, 3,800 on region wide. Not bad there, although it does share appearance with a bunch of items. And then we got two of these bad boys, the Blister Bane Wraps. Now, I don't know why these are so expensive, man, but uh, I actually got two of these. Uh, one of them on literally my last run in this 50 runs, so I was over the moon when I saw that one drop again. Um, so yeah, it only shares appearance with one other item and has 165,000 gold on my auction house. Region-wide, 143. The sale rate is obviously quite low, but very, very nice to have on the auction house for that right buyer at the right time. So, needless to say, I'm quite, quite pleased with the results from this 50 runs. Let's go ahead and hover over my bag appraiser add-on minimap icon so that we can see all of the bag value according to TSM data. And we'll talk about the total value from the 50 runs. So guys, oh my goodness, we have 556,000 gold value. Now obviously the Blister Bane wraps, we got the 13 Dark Iron Baby Booties for over 100,000 gold. And the Judge's Gavel for 12,500, rounding it out with a few greens. Overall, man, I'm very, very excited about everything here. Over 500,000 in value. Obviously, to sell off these baby booties, it will take a while. I usually just post a few and put the rest in, like, the guild vault. And whenever I sell one, just, put, you know, list another. Um, but honestly, like I said, I sell these every two to three weeks. I'll sell one for about, you know, 10 to 15K. So I'm really not too discouraged to just keep these on the auction house at all times now i obviously will buy a few of the bobble worm pets so let's go and head over to Oribos and i'll show you guys how to get the battle pet so now i'm actually on my other druid because my farming my worgen druid does not actually have Oribos unlocked so had to mail the baby booties over to this character but let's go ahead and buy the other two gray items that we need I figured I'd start getting three battle pets, so let's just buy the other three of the gray items that we need. So the second item we need are these rotting bear carcass. Now you can farm these in the calling of Strathholm and with the gray bears. You can actually farm them there, but I'm just going to buy these three because they're pretty dirt cheap. And then the last and third item that we need is this gray hammer here, the stoppable force. Now you can get these in basically any Burning Crusade dungeon. It's just a world drop. So we're going to go ahead and buy three of these. All right, so now we've bought all of the items. Let's go ahead and head over to the vendor. All right, so here we are in Oribos at this bottom right in the Hall of Curiosities. And we want to talk to Keeper Taholt. Basically, once you have those items, so there's actually a few different battle pets that you can buy with different gray items, things like that. But the one we're after is the Topaz Bobble Worm. So, as you can see, just 
that simple it trades the items and now you have your topaz bobble worm so if we cage this pet we can see its value is over 18,000 gold with a region wide value of 25,000 gold so this is just another way to maximize your gold from BlackRock Dev. All right, and that's all I've got for you guys in this week's episode of 50 Runs. I have a playlist for this series. I upload every single week of this series. Let me know if you guys want to watch any dungeons in the comments below, any recommendations, things like that. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching another episode. Good luck with your auction house sales, and I'll see you guys in the next gold making video.